Hello there. Today I'm going to introduce you to our new Eden's Garden Suite. This is available from the 2nd of November tomorrow. It's a beautiful suite that includes this stamp set, which has 10 stamps. So one, two, three, four, five beautiful leafy images and five greetings, which include hello there, sending hugs, dear friend, how are you? My heart is tied to yours, tug if you need anything. Let's celebrate everything. So a really great stamp set for sending those hugs in the mail, actually. It also includes this suite, the Eden dies, which have five pieces, uh, an edge piece and a couple of frames, and one that we're going to use for our project today for a greeting. It includes, so those two items, the stamp set and the dies, will be available next year in our January to June mini catalog. But you can purchase them now. If you purchase both of them together, as a bundle, you get 10% off. But from now until the end of December, you can also purchase these coordinating products that work with this suite. These stunning garden gems. And as you can see, I've had a lovely time using them already. This beautiful paper, which has gold elements in it and evening evergreen and soft succulent and white are the predominant colours. So there's some, there's one of the, uh, the B sides, there's most of the A sides there. The A sides all have gold foil. The B sides have beautiful generic patterning so that you can use them for most occasions. Okay, so that's the paper. And also included is some cotton paper. So this paper has a lovely soft texture to it and comes in evening evergreen and the soft succulent so really lovely soft texture great for wrapping and scrunching okay so those things are available till the end of December okay for the next two months and then these guys will be available next year. So to showcase these beautiful products, I'm going to make this fun fold, which is a great way to show off paper and the stamp set and, and the little die and a few little of the embellishments, okay? So I'll just pop these aside for the minute. That one we're going to need. So I have got... I'm going to make a different colourway for our demonstration today. So I've just got a bit of basic white, basic thick white cardstock in a standard card size. So for me, that's 10 and a half centimeters by 14 and a half centimeters. And then I'm going to show you how I've created the fold. Just bring in my trimmer here, pop that out of the way. So there's our standard cardstock here. And I do all of the scoring and then trim my uh, cardstock in half and then I have enough to make two cards. So here's my measurements here. My cardstock is going to be 28 centimeters so I will be cutting off a little bit by 10 and a half centimeters this, this way which means I can create two cards out of the one piece. And I'm going to score it at seven and a half centimeters which is approximately three inches. 14 centimeters which is approximately five and a half inches and then 20 centimeters which is seven and I don't know how to read so one quarter two quarter three quarter somewhere between three quarters and eight so I'm not sure what you say that so anyway, 20 centimetres for me and then 24 centimetres, which is about nine and a half inches. Okay, 24 centimetres. And then I'm just going to chop it off at 28 centimetres, which is about 11 inches. Okay, chop that off and then cut it in half lengthwise. 
and then I've got my cardstock ready to go for two cards featuring that lovely fold. All right, let's pop that back out of the way. I only need one of those. So to create the card, it's basically a concertina fold. So I'm going to fold backwards and forwards all the way along to create my fun fold. Just use my bone scorer there to make my folds nice and crisp. Okay, so that's my folding piece panel of my card here. I'll pop this back in here so you can see. So that's equivalent to the evening evergreen piece there. All right. So I'm using a different paper this time. So I've got my paper. I've taken a small edge. So I've measured each of these quadrants and taken a small edge off either, each of those and created panels to go in between. Okay. And I have just kept to the same paper with this paper though. This would be a great great card to show off lots of different designs. Pop that one aside because I have to stamp on that. And I'll just stick all of these pieces on to my card. So one. And then my last piece. Three. Okay, so there's my paper. Onto my concertina there. All right, let's do our stamping next. I'll just pop out. Now I have pre-cut using my stamp cut and emboss machine my label here for my greeting right, pop that in the rubbish okay this has been a wonderful way to stamp greetings on the front of my cards and projects there we go i have all of those all right and I'm going to use Evening Evergreen for my stamping. Now these stamps are a distinctive stamp, which means that you'll get tonal variations in one stamped image, which is super awesome. Okay, I'm just going to turn my cardstock over there and use that as a scrap piece to stamp in one corner. And the other for my little piece for inside my card. And then I'm going to pop sending hugs in the middle there. Okay. That's the inside writing panel of my card complete. Now, once again, I'll use that as my scrap piece. And stamp for the background of my card here. And I've just realized that I'll have to put another piece behind this because there is no other, I'm not sticking this down on anything. Okay, so there's the back of my card. I'll pop my folded piece in the center of my card there, lining all of that up neatly and then add my writing panel to the inside of my card here there you go, sending hugs. And then on this one, I'm going to stamp hello there. There we are, ready to go. And I'm going to 
stick that one on the center there so to to make sure I only put glue where I need it because I don't want glue on this section because it'll glue my card down I'm going to flip it over and pop my glue across the center there and then line that up okay and because I'm stupidly stamped on the back of that I'm going to cut a piece of evening evergreen to go behind my card here and make it just a little bit bigger than my base card so that it gives a tiny little edge around my card there so put my glue all over that and line that up tiny little edge all the way around there we go and the last thing I'm going to put on my card is some of these gorgeous garden gems because you can never have too much sparkle okay I'm going to put a large one there and then a couple of little small ones over this side one two and then a couple of these oh, there's a special name for these this type of cut of gem but they look a little bit like petals don't they so I'm going to create a little bit of a petal detail around the center here there we go and there you are there is my completed card in a fun fold. Now I'll probably burnish my folds a little bit more to pop that down but I hope you've enjoyed that and that you'll give that card a little bit of a go as a great quick and easy way to show off your paper. You've got your panel you can write your greeting on and send somebody a paper hug in the mail. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.